already have them and they're beautiful. I've ended up just kind of carrying it around with me to every single room. Is that quality content? What's up guys? Welcome back. Today we are doing a favorites video. We haven't done a favorites video in a really long time and it is not Friday and it is not technically the end of the month. So it's not a Friday fave Stills and Finds, it's just a meh fave Stills and Finds. It's just things I've been interacting with lately. Spring fave Stills and Finds. Few housekeeping things before we jump in, guys. One, I have new merch. I finally did the more blush shirts that you guys have been asking for. I can put them on mugs, I can put I Whatever you guys want, let me know and I will have them made, but that's what exists right now. And then honestly, you guys, my favorite one that I've done so far is my blush fam shirt. I'm just gonna stick pictures up here while I'm talking. I made this little logo. It says khaki reviews beauty blush fam and it's got a little peach in the middle of it. It's just so cute. And so I ordered a long sleeved one uh, for myself in the pink with the white and then there is also a white with pink on it, whatever you prefer. There's long sleeve, short sleeve, and uh, and hoodies, like pullover hoodies. I was gonna do a crew neck, but they didn't come in blush pink. Come on, Teespring, we need our blush pink. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my vlog channel or you didn't know that my vlog channel existed, this is an announcement that I have a vlog channel. So now you have a place to find all of my like extra brain dumpy things and um, it's called More Khaki. So for those of you who want more khaki, it's linked on my front page and you can go and get just some more khaki. Subscribe while you're here and uh, let's go ahead and jump into the absolute menagerie of products that I have been interacting with lately. So my new life is work from home 100% of the time. And the result of that is I need a halfway point between pajamas, which is like depression if you wear it all day long, and work clothes, which is like super uncomfortable to work in when you're at home for some reason. I can't even wear jeans all day because it's, it just hurts my waist, I don't know. And so I've been walking around in like little workout sets and Mike was like, do you need to invest in some more athleisure? And I was like, this is why you're my husband, because of course I need an excuse to invest in more athleisure. So I feel fantastic. I feel like I could just do cartwheels around my house right now. Anyway, <laughs> let's start with a candle. It's no secret that I'm into Volu Spa. I'm, I'm, I'm a big Volu Spa fan. Plus they sell them at Central Market, which is like the higher end H-E-B, kind of bougie H-E-B. So I'm always just kind of like, casually, accidentally walking by the candle section to see what they have. And this new collection came out. It's their whole roses collection. And this is Milk Rose. I was having one of those days where I like, I, a small candle wouldn't do. <laughs> I needed something big and I got this. It is a 26 ounce candle. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. If, I mean, I always freak out about candles, but this is so good. It is kind of bathroomy. <laughs> like it, I got it for my bathroom, but I've ended up just kind of carrying it around with me to every single room as I'm like doing things over the day. And it burns really slowly. I've burned it for hours and it does. It burns super, super slowly. It's a soy candle, I believe. It smells like rose vanilla cream. I will say like it definitely has a warm creamy thing about it, but it doesn't go all the way bath and body works. It doesn't go cloying. It doesn't go like cinnamon bun or like fresh baked cookies. We're not going Yankee candle here. This is a classy version of that nice, warm, lovely, somewhat floral, but also really creamy and delicious smelling candle. And it's not, it's not appropriate all the time. It's definitely a vibe. It's a mood. Like I don't want to burn this before I eat dinner. It's a little bit too bathroomy for that. But when I'm working, it's so relaxing. I, I don't know. At some point, maybe I'll just do like a, my moods interpreted as Volu Spa candles in my house. Is that quality content? Some things that did not work out for me. This is actually really sad. So when I did my Mask Me Anything video on my vlog channel last week, I tried a Josh Rosebrook cacao antioxidant mask and it ended up being so awesome. I loved it so much. It made my skin really happy, really hydrated, really plump, but also like really smooth and like porifying. 
I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it afterwards. I did not try to enjoy it while it was on. Oh, I can't even tell you how much it itches. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. 45 minutes, really? It was so itchy. Falling did a, like a survey on their website where they try and match you with skincare. And they sent me the things that I got matched with. And so the Josh Roseberg mask was one of them. And this was another one. My framing changed and my lighting probably changed too because I had to change my battery pack. Where was I? This Pie Camellia and Rose Gentle Hydrating Cleanser Instant Calm. The claim on this stuff is that it's going to take the place of a cleansing balm and a facial cleanser. I'm a big double cleanse girl, and this is supposed to do both. Unfortunately, it just doesn't do it enough, and something in this irritates my skin. You might not be able to see it, but I have two extremes it's on my face right now. I have one right here and I have one right here and they popped up pretty much as soon as I switched to this product and this product. So I'm not sure which one caused it. That's the problem. One of you guys recently asked how I am scientific about what works and what doesn't and how I try things to make sure that I know what's causing what. And the answer is with makeup, it's easy. With skincare, it's really hard. And that's actually what makes it kind of challenging. I will take a, an aside here. And that is that I get a lot of messages from people asking me to try new skincare lines, especially if they're really pricey because you guys want someone to try it before you have to buy it. And I totally understand that. However, it's super high risk. <laughs> I need to keep my skin nice and clear in order to maintain the rest of my channel in order to keep trying makeup and stuff. So trying new skincare is just, it's just as risky for me as it is for you. And what I end up coming back to always if I want to heal my face is just a complete drunk elephant routine with Curology and also the Thrive Mask. So that's kind of where I'm always at if I need to go back to like a default lately. Anyway, I also tried the Michelle Dermaceuticals Moisturizers. It's kind of an interesting, it's, it's literally just one moisturizer. Ultra Hyaluronic Hydrating Cream. I honestly think this is what broke me out. I think this doesn't get my face clean enough, but I think this broke me out. Like it just pissed my skin off. And so it's really, really thick. Like if you are someone who wants hyaluronic, but you also want like hydration, this seems to be almost like occlusive. Like it seems like it would be the last thing you put on almost as to, you know, seal everything in. And I'm not sure, but I, I know that they don't have anything against essential oils. I'm starting to realize don't hold me to this guys because we're just trying to figure things out as we go but I am starting to realize that my skin is getting more sensitive to essential oils. I have been using some peels and stuff and then I tried using my Sunday Riley Good Jeans again to just try and see if it would sort of fade my melasma a little bit more and you guys know I used to just put that stuff on almost twice a day, at least once a day and my skin never reacted to it and now my skin is reacting to it. So your skin does change. You're changing your microbiome on your skin all the time. Your microbiome in all parts of your body can change in a matter of like 24 to 48 hours depending on what you eat and what you put on your skin what you're interacting with things like that and so I do think that I am kind of losing some of my resilience to irritants um, because I am kind of giving my skin only the best I don't know it's the same thing as when I you know had to go gluten free because I was celiac I got more sensitive to gluten after that so Unfortunately, these two things did not work for me and I think that they are really, really great products. I just don't think that they worked for me and I really appreciate that Falaid sent them to me. So as I've been breaking out and trying to handle it, these have come in super handy. I have talked to Masquerade, the company, before. They sent me a ton of face masks, but honestly, this has been the biggest asset for me. These are the Spotted Minimized Detoxifying Calm anti-blemish clear spot patches. I wear the heck out of these. They are awesome. In combination with my light stem, I'll use my light stem before I go to bed. I just like roast a zit with my light stem. But while I'm sleeping, instead of wearing something on my face that could possibly rub off like a spot treatment or something, I use these. It's, this is what comes inside of here. And they have big ones and small ones and you peel this off and you stick it on the zit and you wear it overnight. And when you wake up in the morning, I swear to you, the zit is smaller. I have no irritation. I feel nothing when it's on. It's so, so gentle. And I do wake up to like a flattened, relaxed, at least I can put makeup on top of it zit in the morning and they stay on your face. So I do have a 20% off for Masquerade. In fact, I have a 
10% off at Fall Aid. I have a 20% off at Masquerade um, if you are interested, but I think you can also get these like anywhere. I think they sell them on Amazon, I'm not sure. But yeah, I can attribute a lot of my, my speed of healing my face lately to these. I really, hmm, I don't know what I would've done without those. <laughs> Speaking of microbiome, you guys know, I have for a very, very long time been using Mother Dirt. And I've honestly been like out there with my flags trying to just get their attention for so many months or years, just being like, hi, I love your product. Hi, I love your product. They always tag them in everything. And that's kind of what you do as an influencer. You're just kind of like, I'm your biggest fan. And I really am. I am the biggest fan of Mother Dirt. I think that it is a phenomenally useful product. What it is, is a microbiome spray. It has probiotics in it. And so it keeps bacteria from just like conspiring against you while you have your back turned. They finally reached out to me and they have some new products coming out and they sent them to me. So these, I believe, came out yesterday. If this video is going out Thursday, they came out yesterday. This is the Mother Dirt Body Wash, the Concentrated Body Wash. These don't have the active bacteria in them. They are just meant to not disturb your microbiome or not disturb your kind of pH balance on your skin, which is great. But that's also good because they don't cost $50 a piece because the spray costs $50 a bottle. And these are much more cost effective. I've been looking for a body wash that would make my back stop breaking out. I have been using things that just for whatever reason, I haven't figured out why yet. I have not figured out why yet, but certain things are breaking my shoulders and my back and my neck out. I just ordered, don't at me, the Paula's Choice Acne Spray because no matter what your feelings are about Paula's Choice, no one can deny her products are not screwing around, okay? Like they're, they're really, really potent and I need something to smoke these zits that are coming up on my back because they're really, they're like adolescent style. They're crazy. And I just, I've never had acne on my back in my life. I don't know what's going on. I was talking to Hallie. She said that she ordered it and I was just like, okay, add to cart, so. Thanks again, Hallie. But I've been using this. It is concentrated, it is fantastic, and it's so simple. It's so simple, I don't know if this is actually part of the indications on it, but I don't have to use a specific hoo-ha wash anymore. I can just use this because it's not disturbing the microbiome. So there's no fragrance, there's no dye, there's no nothing in here. And so it's going to be super supportive of your skin just trying to do the best that it can on its own, which is fantastic. And then also, you can use the Mother Dirt Spray anywhere on your body. I'll just leave it at that. Then they also came out with this Mother Dirt Body Oil. This is a fast absorbing body oil. It is uh, sweet almond oil, apricot oil, squalane, tocopherol, and it's got lemongrass oil in it just for, I think, for fragrance. But the cool thing about this is, <laughs> I just got it on my face. It's a spray. <laughs> And so you can get out of the shower and just spray it on your body and it does absorb quickly, but it is really, really nourishing and quenching. The only place that I don't want to put this is like right in that spot on my back that's breaking out because I don't know what I'm sensitive to yet, but I will use this on my legs. I use it on my arms. I use it on my chest. I use it on my butt. Anywhere that I feel like needs a little bit of moisture. Do I have oil on my face? It's possible, but I'm not upset about it because this stuff is so, so good. I love it. My skin is so dry. I've been dry brushing before I get in the shower most days because I've been doing my goop routine. And I find that, you know, that plus when I get out of the shower, I put this on immediately, just locks in all the moisture and my skin is just kind of so much happier for it. I love this delivery system. I love obviously the concept of this. I've loved Mother Dirt, like I said, for a long time. I love the idea of something that participates with that. It is super simple and pretty unisex. My husband's been using this. He's also been using the shampoo and his hair is so shiny. I don't understand I can't use it because it's really like not meant for like colored hair it makes my hair feel really dry but his hair looked so shiny when he used it it was amazing but anyway um, these are the two new products and I love both of them I am obsessed with a body oil spray thank you mother dirt okay I filmed an entire video on natural deodorant and I never ended up putting it up because Type A then reached out to me and asked if they could send me some deodorant to try. And I said yes, and I was like holding off on refilming the video until I had my feelings collected on that. Type A did not end up working out for me. And my big stance, like where I landed on natural deodorants is these things can't exist unless someone thinks that they work, you know? And so the fact that all of these deodorants aren't working for me 
I think that it means the thing that we all, the moral of my channel really, is that we're all different. And I have found one that does work for me. And I want to really just place emphasis on doing your research and trying to find a good deodorant that doesn't contain aluminum, regardless of whether it's what works for me, it needs to be what works for you. I have a theory that the companies that are putting aluminum in their antiperspirant deodorants know that it causes breast cancer, but that they are also profiting in some way from like breast cancer medication through pharmaceutical companies and stuff. These people are all in bed with each other. And so I think that the best thing that we can do is try and figure out a deodorant if we need to wear a deodorant that is just not playing by those rules. And one of you guys reached out to me and you were like, have you tried this? Honestly, everyone reaches out to me and recommends a deodorant because I do believe that the ones that work for you guys work for you guys. This is just the one that happened to work for me. This is Smarty Pitts aluminum free deodorant. I went for the unscented because I was like, I want to know if it works. I don't want to smell like somebody's vape pipe walking around. I just want to know if it works, if it's unscented. You guys have been wearing this constantly and it works. It works for me. I will say the one thing about it is it's a lot like a physical sunscreen in the sense that <laughs> the more you put on, the better it works. And so you do kind of have to scrape a whole lot of this on and then about 10 minutes later you got to go and kind of finish rubbing it in because it does kind of ball up and stuff. It's just got kind of a waxy creaminess to it and it will eventually all rub in but it's not the perfect deodorant in the sense of being completely discreet but it is a fantastic deodorant in the sense of letting you sweat without making you stink and being actually natural and aluminum free. Now it does contain baking soda and I know that that's something that irritates some people's underarms but they do make a sensitive skin one and several other products for people who are sensitive to baking soda. So I would highly recommend this if you have found like difficulty with other ones. Uh, type A didn't work for me, Native didn't work for me, Myro didn't work for me. The uh, Ursa Major was okay, but at the end of the day, it didn't really work for me. I've tried a lot of them and this is the one that works for me. So I just wanna give that to you guys because I'm not sure that I'm ever going to make a full like best deodorants video because like I said, I think that especially when it comes to our underarms, just cause something worked for me does not mean it's gonna work for you. And by the exact same token, just because a lot of them didn't work for me, it doesn't mean I need to go make a video crapping all over them because they could just as easily work for you. That was my stomach. Oh my God, I'm hungry. Um, okay. Quick mention, if you did not watch, the, well, even if you did watch the most recent video, I can't put a fine enough point on this, you guys. I have been trying a lot of powders lately, a lot, a lot of powders. And honestly, the Well People is still, I mean, it's just blowing my mind in terms of like brightening everywhere. It's such a savior to kind of bring light back to your face when you've, you know, a little too much everything on like I do. As far as setting powders go, this is the best that I have found so far. This is the Ilia Fade Into You Soft Focus Finishing Powder. I mentioned in my previous video, this made me nervous because the first ingredient in it is cornstarch. And that is the first ingredient in a lot of stuff, but mainly the RMS and the Anami, both of which did not impress me. This blows my mind. It is so, so beautiful. You don't have to put very much on for it to set your makeup enough to put more powder products on top, which is so great. I don't have that anxiety that my makeup's dragging around. And I would say that this is really fantastic for people with dry skin because if you have kind of layered concealer or anything like that, once you've set that with powder, the dry spots on your face over the day are going to crack and break up. It's just gonna happen. And this really mitigates that because A, it is so lightweight and so finely milled and B, you don't have to put very much on for it to set your makeup. So I find that maybe an oily skinned girl wouldn't find this to be super useful. It's not crazy absorbent, but it does an amazing job of setting your face enough to put the rest of your makeup on and then you hit it with some finishing spray and it just goes skin. It's so beautiful. I would say that this is like a very finely milled version of Wowder that has longer wear time. Something that just came out, I think today or maybe yesterday, I'm not sure, Thrive is starting to put out new brilliant eye brightener shades. Um, I'm not going to disclose when the next ones come out or what they are, but I already have them and they're beautiful. This is the one that is coming out right now. It's called Aurora. And you guys, I think that what's gonna happen is their brilliant eye brightener is going to become a line of cream eyeshadows. That's just my guess because, you know, yes, it's very useful to have something like this that is this beautiful neutral champagne shade. In fact, I have the old one and I'll show you compared to the new one. 
So Stella is very golden and the new one, Aurora, is a little tiny bit more like coppery pink, I would say. This line is so beautiful, you do want shades you can put all over your eyeballs, not just in kind of brightener areas, but these lighter shades you can also use as like a cheekbone highlight, which is just like so good. They blend really, really beautifully and they're really enhanced by the warmth of your body. And I find that they don't do anything weird or chunky or creasy or anything like that. And when they do blend out, they don't have a lot of like pigment opacity behind them. You end up with just this really pretty glow that only shows when it catches the light. And then, you know, the shades that are yet to come lend themselves really, really nicely to really fast smoky eyes. And I think that they outperform like the Laura Mercier caviar sticks. I think that that's kind of what they're going for and I think that they are better. And so um, this is the new one. This is the old one. I, I highly recommend these. I think that they're awesome and uh, you guys might see my eyeballs in some of their ads soon. As always, there is 10% off of your first order on Thrive if it's over 50 bucks. Message me if you're looking for recommendations on Thrive. But I just wanted to bring that to your attention, keep your eyeballs open because Thrive's coming out with a bunch of new stuff and it's so exciting. All the new lip serums and, and the brilliant eye brighteners, it's just, yes, I'm just really excited. All right, let's talk about these because this is really, really cool. Speaking of brands that are re-releasing their products. I have been watching Ingrid Nelson on and off for many, many years. She has always had this complaint that the Glossier Super Pure, which is what she's obsessed with, it would come in a half ounce bottle for $30 and it wouldn't even last her a month. She would do her empties at the end of the year and she would have like 14 bottles of Super Pure and she was like, this is silly. And I think that if you ever did fall in love with these products, you got frustrated by the size of them and also by the wateriness of them. So Glossier kind of heard everyone loud and clear on these and they increased the size and they increased kind of the viscosity of them. You can see they're more of a serum now. So this, like I said, is the Super Pure. It is a niacinamide and zinc serum for acne and clearing your skin. They also have Super Bounce, which is hyaluronic acid vitamin B5 serum. So this is really beautiful as hyaluronic acids go. Like it is really actually bouncy and gives you almost that Sunday Riley thing. When you put it on, it's just got this really, really beautiful kind of like, you know, the Glossier skin that you always think of. This is what makes your skin look like that. And in this nice frosty bottle to protect the product, there is the Super Glow Vitamin C and Magnesium Serum. And I honestly am so impressed with this release because these are all very inexpensive. I think that they are, I wanna say like $26 a piece, which is awesome for a serum. You get an ounce in each of these. I think you can get the full set for like $65 which is also crazy. I have been using these and they have not irritated my skin. I'm not gonna say they're replacing necessarily my really expensive stuff yet, but honestly, if the Super Glow <laughs> replaces my $88 Tatcha serum, I'm not gonna be mad about that, you know what I mean? So I do, I think that these are an amazing value. I think it's really cool that they did this, that they're really, really listening to people and that, you know, now Ingrid Nelson can get an ounce for the same price and I think it's a better product. The only other thing that I really want to share with you guys today is have you, but I feel like this is almost very meta, have you guys been watching Game of Thrones? Because that's how he starts out Game of Thrones. Did you watch the new episode of Game of Thrones? If you're having Jonathan Van Ness withdrawals because you've already watched Queer Eye too many times and you just need more of him in your life, I recently kind of rediscovered Game of Thrones as we've been going through the new season of Game of Thrones. I'm not gonna spoil anything here. But if you are unfamiliar with Game of Thrones, it is a series that Jonathan Van Ness has been doing on the Funny or Die channel ever since I think like the beginning of Game of Thrones. But it is basically him, he's a hairstylist with a either a celebrity or a uh, comedian or somebody in his chair and just small talk before a haircut or something. He always kicks it off by saying, oh my God, Tiffany Haddish, have you seen the new episode of Game of Thrones? And it just goes off from there. Some of it is scripted because they are, kind of recounting the entire episode each week and they have nicknames for everybody. So like Arya is Baby Kill Bill and uh, Varys is uh, Dr. Evil. <sighs> Cersei's gone through many names, but I think she is Evil, no volume Carol Brady now. I think my favorite one is Euron. They call him Jared Let Himself Go. It's all fantastic. I would highly recommend if you have not watched it at all, but you have seen Game of Thrones, like kick it off 
with the Maria Bamford episode because it is uh, the culmination of last season. It's from the finale of last season, but it's also Maria Bamford and they just kind of let Maria Bamford be her. They let her just kind of like riff on a bunch of stuff and it is just, oh, it's so funny. So um, basically they're just lampooning it. It is not safe for work. It is not safe for children. It is definitely like they talk about just things that I don't talk about on my channel, sex acts and things like that. But I highly recommend it if you are a Game of Thrones and a Jonathan Van Ness fan. It is so stinking funny and I've been obsessed with it. I'm sad that it's going to be over as of, well, by the time this video goes up, it will have already done its last episode. But um, yeah, if you haven't checked that out, you have several seasons to go back and catch up on and it will help you kind of relive and relove all of Game of Thrones in a really funny way. So that is it guys. I haven't done a faves in a long time. These are all the things I've been interacting with lately. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep hanging out with me on this channel, hit the button down below and subscribe. I would love it if you guys did. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me today. I love you. I have a great week and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.